and of concerned citizens for nuclear safety in the development of the Buckland Direct Diversion Project. From the beginning, there was concern about uh, legacy contaminants um, from uh, Los Alamos National Laboratory. And we are now concerned because there have been two samples taken um, in the area where the Forest Service BLM are planning a restoration and recreation project. So that for both the reason of it's being in the near vicinity within a hundred yards of the intake <coughs> pumps of the BBB and because of the restoration project, um, we have um, submitted, there are people, four, four appeals, my own individual uh, appellant, and then there are three other organizations that have um, appealed on the grounds of the uh, possibility of contamination. I'm going to read the end of that third paragraph. The appellants have raised the issues of the need for cleanup, concerns about the use of herbicides, so close to our water supply, concerns for worker health and safety, concerns about burrowing animals, bringing the legacy waste to the surface, and the intent to invite the public and school children to the area where plutonium is buried. And now, um, here's how it appears that relates to the board. Recently, CCNS wrote to NMAD Secretary David Martin requesting that he use the consent order to require the BOE and Lionel to conduct an investigation of the nature of the contamination and the vertical and horizontal distribution of the contaminants of concern. <coughs> he claimed that the consent order does not require NMAD to do so. He closed his February 8th letter to us saying the Environment Department cannot direct the laboratory to conduct investigation and possible cleanup of this area as you request. If you wish to pursue further characterization of this site, I recommend that you contact DOE Lanham. CCNS has discussed this matter with technical experts, including those from NMED and DOE. They've all agreed we do not know the nature and extent of the contaminated area and that more sampling is needed. Because of the public health and safety issues associated with plutonium, americium, cesium, strontium, and uranium buried so close to Santa Fe's water supply, CCNS requests that the regional coalition write to the DOE and Lano and ask them to determine the nature and extent of the legacy waste buried in the vicinity of the Boston Direct Diversion Project. And then if there are contact. Um, information given. Thank you very much. Thank you for bringing us. Any additional, uh, Jake? <coughs> we'll just go right down. <coughs> I'm uh, Jake Cochran with the Production Mexico. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Regional Coalition, for the opportunity to offer public comment. Um, I was in Washington three weeks ago and I met with, for example, Don Cook who's head of uh, defense programs at NSA, and also met with uh, appropriations and uh, armed services uh, staff. And one thing I can tell you is the CMRR is not coming back. It's dead. Uh, the so-called, as it's been termed, the Walmart-sized uh, CMRR, it's a goner. Uh, what is being actively considered now is a, quote, underground phased modular facility uh, that will be between uh, PF4 and the newly uh, created uh, RAD lab. But you're not going to see it in the fiscal uh, 14 budget. And whether it actually gets, you know, becomes a congressional line item uh, remains to be seen. Uh, but I use this to make a broader point. And you all need to bet on the right horse uh, with respect to developing the regional uh, economy.